is a new year and it is time to figure out where I stand financially. Hi, I'm Shayna and we are going to figure out what my net worth is starting in 2019. So the last time I figured out what my net worth was in October 2018 and I haven't figured it out since. But what I'm planning to do in 2019 is to do a quarterly net worth update. And so this is the first quarter of 2019. And so we're going to figure out what my net worth is starting now. And so I've already pulled up all my different accounts and I'm going to be tracking it in this spreadsheet here that I found in Numbers. And Numbers is like the Apple version of Excel. <laughs> And so I'm gonna be typing in all these numbers here into this spreadsheet, and we're going to find out what my net worth is together as I look through all the different accounts that I have. So the first thing I wanna do is look at all the debts that I have. And so I have all of my accounts pulled up, and we're gonna start looking at my debt account starting with my student loan account. So I have a student loan account with My Great Lakes, and I have it pulled up here that my student loan balance is $56,070.36. So we're going to pull this into the liabilities section of the spreadsheet under student loans. So the next debt that I have is with Honda Financial. And I have a 2016 Honda Civic that I leased. And I had a three-year lease term. And so obviously when I got in 2016, my lease term ends in 2019 this year. But I already paid off my lease payments. And so right now what I am trying to do is I'm trying to own the car in full. And so when you lease a car, they actually do tell you the full about the full value of the car. And so now I'm just paying off the remaining value of the car so that it can be 100% mine and I'll own it outright. And so now we're going to take a look at how much money I have left to pay to be able to own the car outright or how much debt I actually have with Honda Financial. I have um, $9,878.07 remaining to be able to pay off my car. So I'm gonna take that amount and plug that into the spreadsheet as well. So then the last debt that I have is through T-Mobile. In about October, I purchased a new iPhone XS, which I record on, and I took that out on installment plan. And as you know, the iPhone XS was like a thousand dollar phone, but I put down a down payment on it, but I still owe money, although I'm making monthly payments with my T-Mobile bill. And so let's see how much money I owe on this iPhone XS. So I'm gonna go over to T-Mobile now. And here you'll see that I have a plan balance. My installment plan balance is $600. So I'm gonna go back to the spreadsheet and put in $600. I have a total debt of $66,548 across those three different debts. So now that we know how much debt I have, let's look at my assets. And I'll be upfront, I know I do not have that many assets. <laughs> and I just started um, accumulating assets this year because I started an individual retirement account, also known as IRA. And I started that because I was making extra income outside of my graduate fellowship. And I've talked about this before in other videos. I am a postdoctoral fellow and I get a graduate fellowship stipend. And for whatever reason, the government decided that people who get fellowship or income from fellowships, that they will not look at it as a salary, although I get paid like a salary. They won't view it that way. And as a result, I cannot contribute to retirement vehicles using that money. But since I do Grubhub and Upwork and I also do teaching on the side and I make more than $5,500 with those sources of income, I'm allowed to open up an IRA. And so I just started bringing in that additional income and so I opened up an IRA this year. 
I'd love to know if you invest in an IRA or a 401k. If you do, go ahead and drop down in the comment section and let me know if you have one of these accounts and how you think you're doing with your investments in your IRA or your 401k. Let's take a look at my Ally IRA. I have an IRA account through Ally Bank. I have $860 put into a Roth IRA with Ally Bank. Now, I will admit that I haven't technically invested this money yet because I didn't know how to. And my plan is actually to move this money from Ally over to Betterment since Betterment invest all the money for you. You set your allocations and then it'll do it all on your behalf. Whereas with Ally, you kind of have to figure all that out and know how to do that on your own. And I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna take the money that you see here and then start investing it. But as of right now, I have $860 in my Roth IRA through Ally Bank. So I'm gonna take that and put that into the asset value column in the spreadsheet. And then let's look at my Betterment IRA. And so what I was doing um, up until this month, January 2019, all the months before that, I was saving $374 a month into an IRA, into IRAs. And I was splitting that amount in half and sending half of it to Ally and sending half of it to Betterment. But starting this month, I'm now sending all of the money that I'm saving for IRAs to Betterment. And this year I have a goal to save the max amount that I can put into an IRA. And the contribution went up to $6,000 this year. So now I'm putting $500 a month into my Betterment account. So let's take a look at my Betterment account and see where I'm at. And so I have $1,378 invested into my Betterment account. And as you can see here, it says two accounts. And that's because I have a 2018 IRA account and now I have a 2019 IRA account. And with each year, you get a new account that you can invest in. So I'm gonna plug this number in to the spreadsheet. And then lastly, I have an Acorns account. And Acorns is an app that allows you to do like micro investing. And so what it does is it kind of rounds up all your purchases to the next dollar amount and it invests invest the difference. And so if you were to make a purchase for $4.75, it will round that up to $5 and then take the 25 cents and invest it for you. Then you can also do these um, other investments and so I tend to invest, I believe, $20 extra a month and put that into an Acorn account. So let's look at the Acorns account, even though I know it's not that much. And it says that I actually have $204.08 in this account. So let's go back to the spreadsheet. And plug that number in. My total assets are $2,366. And so that gives me a net worth of negative $64,183. So my net worth has improved over the past, I would say three months by about $7,000, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. So over the course of this year, some of the things that I think will change are my IRA investments. I am now gonna to try to max out my IRA to the limit of $6,000 for the year, so my assets should go up. I'm also going to change my Acorns um, spending account, so that should go up a little bit as well. I also plan to pay off my Honda Civic by June or July this year, so I should have um, less debt <laughs> and then also i should be paying off my phone this year as well so i should be getting rid of that debt and the main debt that i would have remaining would be my student loans and so i expect some improvement over the next two quarters and even over this entire year in my net worth and hopefully i might be even be in the positive and i think that's possible especially if I get a new job. And so with a new job, that means that I'll have a 401k, which I do not have right now. And that means that my my total net worth will go up. So I'm really excited about this new year and 
I'm happy about the progress that I've made because I have knocked down $7,000 of debt and therefore increased my net worth over just the past three months. So I'm really happy about that. And I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I plan to do more of these videos, like I said, on a quarterly basis. So if you are interested in seeing more of these videos, go ahead and subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I put out future videos like this one. And if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up so that way I know that you like it and it lets other people know that this is a great video to watch. And so I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope to see you in the next video.